Hello there. I'd like to uh, make a very simple video and hopefully a very short video explaining. I, I take that back. I'm going to edit that out of this video. I'm not going to be explaining things. I'm going to give you subjective truths about something. Uh, a few of the answers are going to be slightly humorous, but I will tell you please don't make any mistake. I'm being perfectly serious on everything that I say on this. And it's not about what's been going on over the past few years, although it kind of is. Um, you're supposed to be allowed to, at least according to the tube, let me adjust my fireplace, there we go. <laughs> supposed to be allowed to actually give uh, subjective statements of truth, like if something happened to you, then you can make statements like, uh, you know, uh, you know that it personally happened to you or like your best friend or whatever, so... Everything I state on this will be a series of questions that I've been asked many, many countless times, especially in live streams. So I'm going to be 100% flat out truthful with you. It doesn't matter whether you hate me, like me, indifferent or otherwise. So you can say this is subjective, but this, except for one of these, yeah, which is an observation, all of these things happen to me. So I'm going to be 100% truthful and accurate no lies and uh, these are a few questions and if you're a smart person you could make your own conclusions because I don't ever believe nor do I ever uh, of course beliefs are one thing I've talked about beliefs endlessly I'm never interested in influence you say people on YouTube are influencers I'm not trying to be anybody's influencer at all people should make up their own minds make intelligent conclusions drawn from empirical facts, on and on. Be, you know, be truthful, honest, logical, intelligent, and wise. So I had to give that as a precursor to this. So here's the question. I get asked this all the, all the time. I'm going to replace magic juice with stab juice, yeah? Because I think stab juice is slightly more humorous. Anyway, so did I ever get the stab juice? And the answer is absolutely 1,000%, no way. No way at all did I get the stab juice. Um, I will tell you, and I don't care if I drop dead tomorrow. Yeah, everybody's got to die eventually. I don't care what the circumstances are in the future. I am nobody's pincushion. I never will in any way, shape, or form. Personally, it's just telling you personally, I'm never going to get the stab juice. There's just not a chance in hell. Hell, not a chance in Hades that it's ever going to happen. Did I get the coof? Yes, I did. Uh, back in late January or was it early February? I got uh, the coof. I even know I'm 99% certain who I got the coof from. It's a place where I used to work and I visited there and he was recovering. And uh, I really didn't get within like uh, maybe five feet of the guy, but I'm sure it was lingering in the air. So, <clears throat> But a nice doctor lady, um, Dr. Michelle, I won't give out her last name in this video, gave me something. I've had it in video before. I can't tell you what it is. I've sh shaken the bottle of the stuff. She gave it to me, and it basically cured me overnight. There was like a four or five day delay of me getting it because it shipped out of a pharmacy up in Brooklyn. And there was a holiday that Monday, and so I had to suffer like an extra four days to get it, and it did not go overnight. There was no option to get it overnight, but when I got it, I mean, it was like 48 hours later, like that, turned, uh, turned around just like a switch. Um, there's another uh, guy, is the UFC Fight Club guy, what's his name, Rogan? He took the exact same stuff, and he subjectively said that he had a turnaround just like that. I can't talk about that. You're not allowed to talk about it on the tube, but I took the same stuff that he did. I can also tell you for an absolute fact that my dad got the coof. He didn't get it from me. We made sure we had absolutely no contact. You know, my, of course, my dad's a bit older. My dad got the coof. He talked to the same uh, Dr. Michelle, who's located in Utah, um, who uh, prescribed him the same stuff like that. Can't talk about it, but... Uh, same, same thing happened to my dad. Uh, how many peeps? Now, this is just me, okay? I'm not making any conclusions on anything here about other people or the rest of the world, okay? I'm just telling you just me, 
okay? Because I'm allowed to make factual statements about what is happening. Do I know anybody who, uh, you know, kicked it from the coof? You know, died from the coof? And the answer to that, honestly and truthfully, the answer is zero. Zero. I, I know of uh, zero people that, uh, that uh, perished from the coof. And nor do, have I heard from anybody that I know that uh, perished from the coof. I'm not stating anything about other people's experiences or anything like that, okay? Here's another question. How many peeps, and I say peeps, it's kind of a cute word of saying, way of saying people, who were actually killed by a hospital these past two plus years um, after being put on something that starts with an R? So how many peeps do I know that were hardcore, flat out, undeniably killed by the hospital? Um, uh, two best friends of mine, Mark and Steve. I've mentioned Steve's last name before, but you know, out of uh, condolences for his family, if his family would ever watch, you know, I, I, I shouldn't give out his last name. I've done it before. So Mark and Steve, so two best friends, uh, they were killed by the hospital. No ifs, ands, or buts. Period. Flat out, 100%. Um, other friends, uh, my other friend, excuse me, has had three of his friends killed in the exact same manner by a hospital. I can tell you for a fact that I've had countless numbers of you, which is not a personal experience, tell me that this has happened to a close loved one of yours or something, you know. So they put them on R. I can't tell you what the, the R finishes with. They put them on R, and then they vented them and killed them. So the hospital did kill my two best friends that I've known for a very, very long time. 100% honest and truthful. I... What you believe or feel is none of my business. I'm not trying to influence anybody on anything. How many peeps do you know who got the stab juice? It's kind of funny when I say stab juice. How many peeps do you know who got the stab juice, but still, and the stab, not only the stab juice, but the stab juice uh, version 1.2, 1.3, and a version 2. You know what I'm talking about. And still got the coof. How many peeps do you know who got the stab juice, and it's update, and it's update, update, update. And I still got the coof. A lot. I like a lot. How many do, do I know? I can't count them. People that are close to me that I know, at least 10. At least 10. There's way more than that, though. How many people do you know, peeps do you know, who had their jobs lost or destroyed, and therefore their whole family unit destroyed, thereby wrecking uh, kids and family life because they were unwilling to be uh, get the stab juice um, or uh, colloquially by meaning experimented upon? And the answer is a lot. I personally know of uh, no fewer than nine people who lost their jobs. And as far as comments, however, I can't co count comments because somebody could say anything in comment, right? The number of people that told me that in comment is an extremely high number. So how many peeps do I know that lost their job and therefore had their family and lives destroyed because they were not, they were completely unwilling to uh, get the stab juice? And the answer is a lot. Now I'll answer one more peripheral question, which is not my personal or subjective experience, <clears throat> having witnessed what has been said out there by people themselves. Famous people, world leaders screaming about getting the stab juice who later said that they got the coof. Like, oh, I got it. You know, they keep, you know, wagging their finger at everybody like you're an inferior uh, monkey or whatever because you, uh, you need to go get it. And uh, people that told you you couldn't get it if you got it. And uh, Fo Chi is one like that. He's on record saying that uh, if, you got, if you get the stab juice, you're not going to get it. And yet, uh, like 72 hours ago, he told everybody he got the coof. Yeah. So how many world leaders do I know of that I know who have personally been screaming and wagging their finger at everybody to get it, but later on told everybody that they were sick with the coof? And uh, every one of them that I know of, um, like all the people that have been screaming and yelling about it, all of them uh, have got it. That's by their own admissions. You know, that's not my subjective experience, obviously, but these people have uh, objectively declared, I've been juiced and triple juiced and boosty juiced, boosty juiced. <laughs> no, no, that's not really an English word. 
And yet I still got it. Those people have uh, flat out declared that, made declarative statements about that. So that's uh, answering the question. I've uh, been asked uh, some of these questions many, many, many countless times. And so I would give an honest, truthful, subjective answering on that, on uh, these uh, questions. Yes. I draw no conclusions from this. I will let you draw your own conclusions, whatever they may be. I don't tell anybody what to think, feel, or believe. And I'm not interested in uh, influencing anybody whatsoever. I, would, uh, I was only making declarative, subjective statements. Um, not interested in, uh, not interested. I, I have no bearing on what anybody does or does not do in their lives. I'm only telling you what happened to me. And the people that I know, and you know, people that I interact with, what has happened, so. Yep. Don't draw any, I personally will not draw any conclusions about any of these things that I've said in this video. Only uh, what has happened to me. Subjective experience. Yes, I did get the coof in late January, February. I did take that stuff that I showed everybody in the book. I, I didn't tell you what was in it. But yeah, that 48 hours like that. Same thing happened to my dad. Like that. He didn't get it from me. 100% confirmed. He did not get it from me. We made no inner, no contact at all. Not even far away contact. So I don't know who he got it from, but he got it. So, yeah. That's all I like to say about that. <laughs>